Hello Pisces, welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. I am Nicole. For those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole. I just repeated myself, didn't I? It's been a long day. My brain is focused in on the message that I just got from Spirit. And I'm like, ah, oh. <laughs> quirky me. Guys, don't expect anything less if you're new. This is me. Sometimes, sometimes it comes out right, sometimes it doesn't. I, I'm not a creature of habit per se, so I don't know, it just kind of repeats. But anyhow, um, moving on from that. Welcome to the channel, regardless if you are new or you are, you've been around for a while. Thank you. For those of you who have subscribed, liked, shared, and commented, I appreciate each and every single one of you. Uh, Pisces, this is going to be a weekly reading from November 6th to November 12th. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to play with some different things here, see how I, how I like it and how you guys receive it and go from there. Um, but I'll still probably run a whole spiel of all of you guys time stamped. So Pisces, I'm hearing the words exquisite. I also heard not my circus, not my monkeys. What are we doing? Like, it's like, I don't care this week, 111. I just got, I just seen that for Aries. Um, so yeah, not, you're just not, you're not engaging in something. This is going to be for your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus cross watch, your fats, you. Welcome to the channel, guys. You always discern the messages accordingly. Um, somebody could be seeing you in some kind of exquisite energy or portraying to you that this is what they think. This is how they feel about you. I don't think you're buying it. I really don't. It's like, not my circus, not my monkeys. Everybody... Spirit, everybody's got a sob story. I don't want to hear yours. Don't come over here and like butter me up, right? So we'll see. We'll see here what's going on for you guys. Some interesting energies there, Pisces. I'm going to try to keep these videos a little bit shorter than the norm, right? Strategy and yin and yang. They're trying to come in. Trying to balance up with you. I don't think you're going to have it. As I say that, there comes caring connections. Door to personal healing and happiness. What's on the bottom of the deck, though? <laughs> that yin and yang still. Strategy. Walking away. Storm warning. Healer of the ages. Pisces, you might be feeling you. you. They might be feeling you. I don't know if you're feeling them. And, you know, I don't tend to get into the love thing too much. But, um, let's see. Let's see what's going on here for you guys. <laughs> I feel like you're can it's not about the connections on a romantic level for you right now. This is about what makes you happy. This is what is what is a, what is it is about you opening up doors for yourself rather than with or for the sake of somebody else. Okay, I hope that I spoke plain English enough there to spit that out. Four of Wands. Um, interesting. Somebody's I, Pisces, there's there's this hesitancy. <clears throat> Even with all these beautiful cards coming out, there's a hesitancy. You may not trust something here. But I also feel like somebody is trying to be supportive. Two page of swords. Page, page of swords is, you know, communicator, but they're young. They're young. You could be dealing with somebody that's younger than you. Five of cups on the bottom. Listen, it's like this. And I'm going to say this is going to be, this is probably going to be a mix of both you, Pisces, and the cross watcher. Your sob, sad stories could be getting you in trouble. Okay, so if somebody's coming in with this communication, um, they're immature, they play, they're playing small, essentially. Here's the Hermit, I've seen the Five of Cups. I feel like Pisces this week, Nine of Cups, Somebody could see you, a couple of messages. One, Pisces, somebody could see you extremely happy right now and they want what you have. Five of Cups energy at the bottom. Um, feeling sad, lost, remorseful. Somebody could make be making you an apology. But that apology, and I think this came up for you in the November read. I have to go back and look, I'm not sure. Um, that apology is like narcissistic, flip it around, 
on you and make you feel bad for them. Okay? <clears throat> I don't like it. I don't like their energy. You got a page coming in to communicate with you. If they're not bossing up, like you're gonna have to heal past whatever this was. And I'm gonna, what is this Karen Connections for Pisces? The chariot. I just heard I just wanna hold, I just wanna hold, I wanna, I wanna move on. There's the emperor. There's a lot of good cards here, but even though I have the cards, right, if I could sit here all night and read you, the, read off to you the traditional meaning, meanings of these cards, maybe they want to meet up with you or some shit, Queen of Wands, um, something's not right here, Pisces, I'm, I'm waiting, I get cups, it's like love bombing to me, I don't know why I get that, that Page of Swords is kind of like that confirmation to me, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, he's a little older, you know what, like 20s. Like, I'm not, I'm not buying what they're, what they're spewing right now. I'm gonna be straight with you. I just, I'm not feeling it. Door to personal healing and happiness. The moon. There you be, you and Cancer. What is this? Two of Wands. They're gonna leave you waiting. This could be somebody coming in here making you <coughs> a shit ton of promises. They either see through you or you're seeing through them, okay? Um, because it's like they could be at a distance. They could have made promises to travel. We're going to be together. Things are going to be good. It's going to be fine. I'm going to be there to love you. I'm going to be there to support you. I'm going to hold your hand through whatever this is. High Priestess, the Tower, you fucking know better. I'm telling you. I, there's just something as much as this comes out pretty I didn't pull all these cards for Aries something's telling me within this is not as fair and as balanced as it feels because there's too much in and out kind of energy there's too much strategy behind this there's when you see walking away like I'm gonna say Pisces be very discerning because this person this situation is likely to leave you in this five of cups. I've seen it now twice. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this for you. So be mindful. And I feel like you've been dealing with those energies kind of on and off for some time, Pisces. What is, yeah, nine of wands with that four of wands. You may have been through, you may have gone through it. Um, and Pisces is a water sign. Look, there it is. I told you. They're going to come in and try to rip down your foundation, whether it's your home, you, you know, it's just like they could, it's to me almost like you might be in some kind of like sadness, despair, dismay, and they see that, right? They're taking advantage of a situation. When I said to you earlier, exquisite, darling, you are exquisite. Those words, some Random ass big word is coming out of their mouth going, let me sweep you off your feet. That Knight of Cups. And here's the thing. You guys know better. Male, female. <coughs> Excuse me. Confirmation of the same there. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter how you identify. Whoever's coming into you is making you promises and it's only because they want to be able to take. They're a taker. <clears throat> Three of Wands. Again, this ideal or sense of they're coming, and I feel like you're going to be waiting. False promises, right? That Five of Swords, that Three of Wands. I, you know, I'm coming to see you. I will be there. I'm going to uplift you. We're going to build. It's going to be fine. Bullshit. They're a smooth talker. That's all they are. Smooth talker. Be very mindful. Be very, very mindful of who you're dealing with right now, Pisces. Daughter of Swords. For some of you, this could be a family member. Just heads up, this could also be a co-worker. Um, Ace of Wands. If they start doing anything at all, it's like they're they're just planting those seeds, right? They're planting the seeds of how they're going to work with you. They're telling you about this communication right they're telling you how they're going to work on this with you how uh, everything is going to be fine but here's the thing what I don't like about this 
I feel your energy this side. I feel them on this side, right? This Ace of Wands is being given from my right. I feel you over here with this High Priestess, the moon. This person's going, this is how I'm going to support you. This is how I'm going to be there for you. And you're giving, you're the one that's without. And you're giving to them. You're taking the action towards them and getting next to nothing in return. Magician in the reverse and the, the Queen of Swords. They're manip manipulating the fuck out of you right now. Pay attention. They are twisting this around in your moment of despair or hurt, regret, blame, shame, whatever this is. And trying to make you feel bad for them so you do something for them. What? Do not. Do not go there. <clears throat> what is this for Pisces? He just hoards. More communication. More promises. They'll fall. Sh Spirit just said they're going to fall short every time. Spirit said this is also not meant to be what you think it is. There's something that's those fives, 11, 11 on the clock. You are, you may feel like Pisces, that you're not being protected. Rejection is God's protection. And you are. There's a, there's a balancing out for you guys that needs to happen. And whatever this person is doing and whatever um, objective of life that it's happening, this is where the balancing has to occur. It is almost karmic as well. It's coming in to switch this up to create that balance so that you can see something that you wouldn't see some other way. Whether it was a sense of denial or ignoring your intuition or whatever this was. But it's like that emotion that somebody is care well the fake emotion that somebody is carrying into a situation is like gee that's really nice but but what is this what are you trying to do why are you doing this you tell me but you do nothing 12 12 on the clock um it's not your problem i go back to not my circus not my monkeys their problems are not your problems. Be careful who you're sharing information with at this time. Because they come in very fast to take advantage of it. What is this one? The cups for Pisces? The moon. There you be again. It's a false victory with this person. Or this situation. Uh, temperance in the reverse. The moon comes out in the sideways position. The six of wands. The six of cups. Again, this is like a karmic. They're playing with. Oh my god. The Ten of, or, <clears throat> excuse me, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Six of Cups. They are playing with your emotions 110%. They're stressing you out and it's like they're, they're flipping the switch continuously. Keeping you in suspense. Telling you that things are going to be fine. Just, just wait, just wait. I, I, I'm coming. This six of cups, I usually see this could be something. This could be somebody that's coming back around that you've been talking to, dealing with for a year or so, upwards of six to twelve months. Um, they're playing the long game, okay. But it's like Pisces. At some point, you're gonna you will put your foot down. But I feel like it's a slow move. It's almost like you kind of this this regret that five of cups is coming in with like, um, how did I get myself into this? Why did I let that person in? Um, I do think you're going to flip it around because you're going to you're going to see just enough of something or somebody that is going to kind of wake you up. That it's like okay, it's time to move on. Like I'm going to walk away from this and hold my head up and and move on from there. But for some of you, if you're coming out of this situation, be careful about the next situation. Like I'm not trying to make you paranoid, but. They could come back with some bullshit and um, try to do it again. Okay? So be cautious. Be very cautious. Advice for Pisces, please, Spirit. Advice for Pisces this week. Compassion in the sideways position. They are. They're really playing on your emotions. It's not sincere. It's not sincere at all. Advice for Pisces, please, Spirit. Presence. Are they showing up is what Spirit just said. And there's a pause comfort you could be seeking comfort at this time they're giving you just enough to keep you hanging on just enough what was that song in like was it the 80s you just i can't think of who sang it 
you just keep me hanging on, like, that's what they're doing. They're keeping you hanging on for whatever, whether this is work, this is love, this is friendship, this is family. Again, for some of you, this could be family members, a lot of false promises. This person is emotionally manipulating you. This situation, 15-15, that of the devil energy reflected. But I also think this is a massive lesson for you to start to value yourself. Um, presence and pause. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, wait, something happened. Oh, yeah, I'll be there. Something happened. You're seeking comfort from something outside of you that lives within you. Be mindful, okay? Pisces, rough, I would say rough week. Just check your emotions. Make sure that you're operating from a place of self-love and boundaries. It's like I just told Aries, they're, they're dealing with a lot of boundaries right now. Check your Aries, your know, placements for Aries as well. Um, could be dealing with an Aries. I don't think you are though. Um, so with that, if you found this video, video, I only see the damn TV name. I don't know why. Video resonated for you. Hit the like, share, subscribe, comment. I appreciate each and every single one of you for all that you do to support the channel in all the ways. Uh, personal readings are open now um, for the next two weeks. Uh, holistically, zenwv.com for a full list of products and services. You guys take care, and I will see you soon. Bye.